Anchors up. Check the rudder and the keel real quick. Woo! Last night around low tide, we noticed that the boat wasn't moving anymore and that we were actually sitting on the sea floor. <laughs> so it was a little too shallow, not terribly, just for so slightly. So we got up early this morning, decided to leave that anchorage while the tide was still up and before it hit low tide. We're motoring over, getting ready to hit the channel to head back out. And sure enough, I see the depth go down to, you know, four, then three and a half. So I quickly threw it into reverse and backed us out of there. But in the process, I thought I felt a little tug on the rudder, meaning could have been hitting something um, or just could have been like a little brush or something. I don't know. So that is what we are checking. And we've just been having some coffee and waiting for the tide to go back up. <laughs> so how'd it look? Not too bad. I feel like I'm a little hypersensitive because I know we touched the bottom. Um, there's a couple white spots on the bottom of the keel that could be where possibly we hit something and it removed the bottom paint but it didn't look like there was any damage and we've only dove a couple times down on the keel so it's hard to know for sure but everything looked fine we'll check the bilges just in case i think you've noticed that there was a hole <laughs> yeah there was no bubbles coming out and there wasn't any sort of hole or anything so i'm sure we're fine okay let's try this again shall we All right, it's up. On both of our chart plotters, it's saying it's 5.9, 6.2 in this area, but we're getting a reading of 3.9. It's not low, low tide, and even the low tide today was a couple of hours ago, and it was a plus tide. So it's not even a negative tide, so I, mean, I guess we just can't trust the charts. She's backing up, we must be getting shallow. What's the depth? 3.2. It just dropped all of a sudden. Oh, it looks like it's shallow on the left side. So our draft is four feet, even though our depth is saying four and a half or even 3.2. We know we have a little wiggle room in that. We know our sensor is placed up higher, but how much higher, I don't know. So I can't, uh, can't risk it. I see anything that starts to get in the zone of three and I start to panic a little bit. Ooh, yeah, look, we started up something right there. And that's what the people with flat bottom boats feel. Nada. Three point seven. Three point six. Three and a half. Three point four. Three point three. All right, we have to go to a different spot. You're perfectly lined up. Yeah, it's crazy. You're gonna back up and get out of here, right? I don't know that I can back up, but it'll do me any good because I lined up here. I think I need to go right back out. Okay. We're still floating. Doesn't feel like we're caught on anything. It's showing 3.0, 3.1. Jeez. We're so, I mean, we're like, uh. <laughs> Oh, Oh, yeah, yeah.
High tide only. The super duper bummer part about it is we were gonna go outside so we could hit the snorkeling spot. Uh, apparently we can't. How are we looking? Uh, we're good. I think earlier we just stirred up a dust box. That went all the way to three, but we definitely weren't touching bottom or hitting anything. We're slowly climbing back up now. Ah! 3.8, 3.9, Jeez. Four. All right, when we have it hauled out, we gotta measure. Drop the plumb bomb to measure exactly how far away it is and check our settings. Whew. That's a close one. It is officially high tide, slack tide, as you can tell by the water being so calm. And we're gonna go through this channel. There is a 3.9 spot that we enter and exit. Hopefully the charts are wrong in a good way this time. Or it's high tide, which means we should be just fine. Yeah, we should be just fine. Mean low tide is 3.9 at the spot we're about to hit. So it should technically be 4.9 because it's a plus one tide. Keep my eyes out. We've got 6.3, so there's plenty of water, but I'm taking it slow just because. Looks ugly. And sounds ugly. So blue this way compared. It's crazy. Ooh. It looks scary. Yeah, it's like that weird, scary color. Well, we think it's the storm ever get in. Man, this is exactly what we didn't want to do is anchor in a new spot at night. I guess 
the saving grace is we went in most of the way before we were right where we were about to drop the anchor before the squall hit. So we went we can, exactly where we were ready to drop the yeah. anchor. Yeah, so we can just follow our line back and hopefully no crab pots have floated in the way or anything, but if we follow our line back, we should be good. Looks like it's almost over, but now it's pretty much dark outside. Bugs here, horrid, absolutely horrid. We've been trying to anchor for the past. Well, let's see, since uh, about eight o'clock, so for about an hour and 15 minutes. We've been trying to anchor. We have not gotten a perfect bite that we feel comfortable with. Nope, so it's sleeping in shifts. We're gonna sleep in shifts. We got the anchor alarm set. We've got the GPS tracking our movement, so We'll be able to see, but there's no way that both of us are going to be able to go to sleep and feel comfortable with that, especially yeah. because we're on a lee shore, which means if we were to drag, the chances of us dragging and ending up on shore would be way too good. So, yeah. 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 So, yeah, that's our uh, exciting. Yay! Yay. <laughs> First crazy day, crazy night. We probably should have never left that channel at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, considering... There was only one anchorage that would work out, but hey. Well, but we had a game plan, and yeah. then a squall came, and we yeah. were going to anchor before yeah. sunset. It just, stuff happens. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to have one drink, and only one drink, to relax, but uh, not get too relaxed, because we got to stay on alert. Yeah, we should go inside. And make food. Good night. Okay.